TN has done kind of an interesting study with Parkinson's disease, looking at plasma glyphosylic protein and different motor subtypes of people with Parkinson's. And this is really, really interesting because what he's coming down to is saying there's a tremor predominant type and then there's a postural impairment dominant type. Um, the tremor kind, the people are irritated about their tremor, they complain about it all the time, but they can usually do their stuff. It's just a tremor at rest. The postural impairment kind have real problems. They can fall, their posture is impaired, they can uh, have a lot of phobia for walking even though they could walk, and it becomes a problem for everybody. <clears throat> so, in this study, what they found is that glyophilic protein will be higher in those with this postural impairment. And this could be a really good test to help sort patients out. It could be the beginning of differentiating different subtypes of Parkinson's and why these things happen. And we can even find ways to reduce that. And the GFAP could be a way to see if things are actually improving. It was a wonderful study.